In this video, I will show you how to install Windows 7 in Windows 10 on a virtual machine using Hyper-V. First, on your Windows 10 machine, you need to enable Hyper-V. Go to the search box and type Hyper-V. Choose Windows Features and then go to Hyper-V. Make sure everything is selected under Hyper-V and then click OK. So select Hyper-V and click OK. It takes a minute to install. Once it is installed, you need to restart your computer. Once your computer restarts, go to the search box and type Hyper-V and choose Hyper-V Manager. In Hyper-V Manager, you need to create a virtual network. So click on Virtual Switch Manager, click on New Virtual Network, and then choose External. This is to create an external network so that you can access the internet from within your virtual machine, which will host Windows 7. Name it whatever you want. Make sure you select external and then click OK. The changes will be applied. And now you're ready to create your virtual machine. Click on new virtual machine. Type whatever you want. Here I'm using the Windows 7 name. And then click on next. Choose generation one. Click on next. I'm boosting the memory a little bit here and I'm removing use dynamic memory. And then click on next and choose the network you created in the step earlier, which is internet access. On the create virtual hard disk, click on next. And here to install the operating system, you need to choose your Windows 7 ISO file if you have it. If you don't have it and you have a DVD, you can choose the DVD option. Here I have a Windows 7 ISO file. I'm choosing it. Otherwise, here you choose a physical CD and you insert your Windows 7 physical disk in your laptop. Once everything is selected, click on finish and the virtual machine will be created. You need to connect to it, double click on it, it, you will connect to it, and then click on start. When you click on start, it will go and load the ISO to install Windows 7 as you see. So here it is installing Windows 7, it started the installation. Continue the installation normally as you would on any Windows 7 installation. Choose the options you want and then click on install now for Windows 7. The setup will start and the installation will begin. Accept the license terms, click on next and choose custom because this is a new installation and choose the virtual hard disk that you created when you created the virtual machine and I click on next simply. The installation will start expanding the files and the virtual machine might restart a couple of times here. I'll skip one restart and you'll see now it will restart another time. Of course, I'm accelerating the video here a little bit. Expanding the files and installing Windows 7 and here it restarted and it's restarting once again. So now the installation of Windows 7 is finished. The first login, it will ask you to provide a username. Type whatever you want. Here I'm typing Hyper-V user. And it will rename the PC automatically as you see, Hyper-V user PC. Once you've done, click on next. And here type any password you want. It's better of course to choose a strong password. Type the password hint. and then click on next. 
choose recommended settings you can choose whatever you want here for the sake of this video i just choosing the recommended settings choose your time zone and then this is windows 7 starting within windows 10 and as you see it will have also internet access here the internet is connecting once it is connected it will prompt you to choose on which network you are i'm choosing home network here take a couple of seconds to apply and here i'm choosing not to create a home group this is internet explorer and it will go to the internet from within the virtual machine now i show you how to shut down the virtual machine and reconnect to it to shut it down simply shut it down like you you shut down the windows 7 machine and close also the windows 7 window then double click within hyper-v manager on the windows 7 machine and click start and it is as simple as that to make the windows 7 machine full screen also you can simply click on view and select full screen and here it is in full screen mode to exit the full screen mode on the top center of the screen click on the restore button and here windows will start in a couple of seconds and here it is i'm logging in and it's working as a normal pc i hope you all enjoyed this video and found it useful if you did please don't hesitate to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel thank you all for watching